Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. A telephone conversation was held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and Iraqi President Barham Saleh during the call. They exchanged greetings on the advent of Eid al-Fitr, wishing their people and countries further progress and prosperity and the Arab and Islamic nations' well-being and blessings. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today met with the United Kingdom's first Sea Lord and Chief of Naval Staff Admiral Tony Radican, CBADC at the Navy Command Headquarters at Portsmouth. His Royal Highness commended the strength of Bahraini-UK relations which continue to develop with every passing year, particularly within military and defense. Further, His Royal Highness noted that the bilateral partnership supports regional and international safety and stability. Regional and international issues of common interest were also discussed. For his part, Admiral Tony Radican has highlighted His Royal Highness's continued support for further Bahraini-UK ties at all levels. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs and chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, recorded a new success in supporting Bahraini youth under the supervision and training of Bahraini cyclist Ahmed Madan, who joined the Bahrain Victorious Cycling Team as the first Bahraini professional in this sport. Ahmed Madan's participation with the Victorian with the Victorian team in the Tour of Hungary is the first in the world of a professional cyclist. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed his great happiness at the Bahraini cycle's first foreign participation in the world of professionalism. His Highness the Sheikh affirmed that the participation of Ahmed Madan with the professional team confirms the successful march of the cyclist, who is a model for the sincere Bahraini youth, wishing him every success. For his part, cyclist Ahmed Madan has expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa for his great support in his professional career. He expressed his pleasure to be a professional Bahraini in the victorious cycling team pledging to His Highness Sheikh Nasser to make every effort to achieve the fruits of His Highness's support in the upcoming posts. The Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism continues to intensify inspection and monitoring campaigns with the aim of ensuring that stores and markets during Eid al-Fitr holidays have enough of the foodstuff. The Ministry stated that monitoring and awareness raising fields or raising field visits are continuing in all governance of the Kingdom of Bahrain, especially in the central markets and shops, with the aim of monitoring the markets and ensuring that the prices of the foodstuff are not raised and stable, in addition to the stability of all the kinds of fruits, vegetables and meats, in addition to receiving and following up on consumer complaints and complaints first and striving to find appropriate solutions to them as soon as possible. The various market centers and shops are witnessing an active uh, movement during Eid al-Fitr holiday, so the inspectors are keen to continue to intensify campaigns for the markets in order to enhance the empowerment of uh, sound commercial practices, protect the rights of the trader and the consumer together, and ensure the health and safety of all. Gulf Air, the national carrier of the Kingdom of Bahrain, announced that it will offer free health insurance coverage against the coronavirus for all reservations on its tickets, including tickets issued by miles for travel of the Gulf Air on the Gulf Air flights from May till November 2021. Gulf Air stated that health insurance includes health expenses and quarantine expenses in the event of diagnosis or infection with the coronavirus while traveling, noting that all travelers will be covered in accordance with the mentioned insurance policy. Acting Chief Executive Officer of Gulf Air, Walid Al Alawi said that with the continuing global situation of the coronavirus pandemic, efforts must be made to simplify travel procedures and enhance them with tools that make the traveler's journey free from anxiety, as the insurance coverage for COVID 19 will provide a better experience for everyone who travels with Gulf Air over the next six months. Within the framework of deep-rooted fraternal relations, cooperation and joint coordination, the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates have begun to adopt a safe travel passage between the two countries for those vaccinated and who will be able to travel between the two countries without the need to apply the precautionary quarantine requirements upon arrival. Citizens and residents wishing to benefit from the exemption from the precautionary quarantine in both countries are required to show that they have obtained the last dose of anti-coronavirus vaccination according to the approved application or certificates issued by them. This falls in line with the two countries' keenness to facilitate the movement of individuals and achieve the desired goals of vaccination campaigns for different groups of the society in a manner that guarantees the safety and health of the society and limits the spread of the virus. 
The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 823,452 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 617,139 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 15,427 with 1,500 recoveries and 1,816 registered new cases. 725 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 1,079 are contacts of active cases and 12 are travel related. The Ministry also announced five deaths from COVID-19, a female citizen aged 76 and two male citizens aged 52 and 70 and two male expatriates aged 35 and 33 and expressed its condolences to the families of the deceased. The ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.